ball. So we'll verify the gauge is off, or the valve is off. We'll make sure the knob is screwed out counterclockwise sufficiently. We'll attach the airline. All right. <laughs> Pull back on the collar, hold the housing, and then push in firmly. There we go. Easy. It's not that easy. I think this is a little. I think our uh, coupler is a little bit worn. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we don't need the pressure pot for this test. Then we'll. Uh, we'll assume we're ready to go with a bubble point test here. So, to do a water entry pressure test, we'll. Uh, Get a uh, 50 milli or uh, a beaker with a source supply of uh, clean RO water. And then we'll uh, take a syringe, a small syringe, and uh, take about five milliliters of RO water, more or less. And then we'll carefully, uh, carefully inject this into the upstream or through the uh, attachment. Good lord! <laughs> we'll carefully inject this through the uh, test fit fitting on the outlet tubing. And actually, I don't want to be too high because I wanted the water to pool into the tubing. So we'll do it at the table type, table top. And we'll just hold it, we'll just butt them together and push the water in. If you spill a little bit, it's not a big deal. Like I just did. I'm gonna push several milliliters in until you see some water appear in the tubing below. See the water. All right, once that happens, you can uh, put whatever's remaining back in the beaker. All right, the outlet fitting's ready to go. Then we'll, we'll get our hydrophobic filter. In this case, it's a PTFE membrane. And then we'll, uh, while the fitting's facing up, we'll attach the dry, the dry unused filter, a new filter. And, uh, these are, uh, these fittings are swivels, so you do have to hold the fitting while you attach the filter just to have to get firm, a firm attachment. And once it's ready and attached, and you make sure that the uh, outlet is pointing up, we'll uh, turn on the, oops, I'm sorry, we'll turn on the gauge, make sure it's reading zero. All right, we're at zero, we'll turn on the air. And then we'll apply pressure to what we think is approximately 50% of the uh, water entry pressure for uh, 0.45 PTFE. Once again, I'm gonna guess maybe around 15 to 20 PSI. So we'll pressurize that to 15 to 20 PSI. We'll allow that to stabilize for a minute. And as you can see, the hydrophobic membrane is uh, now preventing water from passing through the filter. And then we'll uh, proceed as though we're doing a bubble point test. We'll, we'll ramp the pressure by turning the knob approximately a quarter turn per second until uh, water appears in the outlet side of the filter housing, which should be quite obvious. See it? There it is. So that's the water entry point. It was about 40 PSI. And then once you, uh, rec you record the pressure, and then I should have said that before I was putting it down, but you record the pressure, then uh, you can re relieve the pressure by turning counterclockwise rapidly until it reads zero. And then you're safe to re remove the filter, hold the fitting with your left hand and unscrew it with your right hand. And then you have your tested filter. And if you want to try another one, you can certainly do that. If you're finished, you make sure the pressure is still reading zero. And then just simply turn the air off and then turn the gauge off.